so this is my custom Lego Ravage Ragnarok. It's the fourth bay in the new Sparking series, and very inspired by Glide Ragnarok. There is this is there is no other three bladed Ragnarok other than Glide, so it did, yeah. So we're gonna be reviewing this thing because I need to get a uh, actual video out instead of just live streaming. But we're gonna start with the <laughs> I have my tripod, but we're gonna be starting off with the layer, which is Ravage Ragnarok. Now this layer is took really long to build, actually. It took forever to fine-tune it and it wouldn't look disgusting. Um, this is why this video is so delayed, because I, I literally could not like figure out how to make this look good. But I finally did because the center core piece, if I can get it out, uses this piece right here, which has the six holes, which perfectly fits in with the main ring, which is built very similarly to the last layer. If I'm not, you know, yeah, it's the same general idea, except I like this more. Now, like most new sparking system bays, this has a mode change, which I know it makes no sense for Ragnarok, but the mode change itself does make sense for Ragnarok. Basically, the oh my gosh, I can't get this in. These wings right here, they move outwards. It's a manual change. I was gonna make them move around in battle, but um, that was really hard to do. So I scrapped that idea ultimately. Although I could possibly do I don't know. I might make a follow up um, post if um, I manage to put that in to the thing. But for now, this will do. So we have a regular mode. And then we have the slice mode, because these like slice through the air or something like that. I don't know, it's a thing, and it's cool I guess. The chassis is 3A, which is very round boy, it's very round, pretty flat, should have good stamina, has a very similar mode change. It's not as a Jurassic, a Jurassic, Jurassic, Jurassic Ragnarok, but um, yeah it is something. I don't know. It should have good stamina because of how round it is. And I mean, that kind of pokes out. It does actually poke out like a decent amount. If I can put it together. It does kind of poke out. It's hard to see on camera, but yeah, we got that, I guess. And then we have the driver, which is none. We've had nothing. We've had never. Now I have none. So it's free spin. Has there been a new sparking system driver that wasn't free spin in some way? I, I don't think so, but this is another free spin, which is insane. Oh my gosh, can you focus on it? There we go. So, it's- oh my gosh, my camera is not having it today, but get out of the way. So, it has this free spin right here. Oh my god, it's so blurry. Apologize for the- there we go, it's free spin, and it has a somewhat rounded off tip at the end, which those came from the, those, um, those clip pieces, let me, let me get one. Alright, I got one, it's these pieces, which the end of it is rounded off, so it has a little more stamina than a regular bar, a, reg a regular bar, that sounds stupid, this video is dumb. Ragnarok! Yay! Alright, let's battle. What driver did you put on here? Ragnarok Bay. Oh, I put none on it. Just none. Alright, so we're here at the stadium once again. We're gonna be testing out Ragnarok. We're just gonna... Just gonna launch him now. Three, two, one, go. So, he moves around a little bit, but not really that much. Sounds kind of rattly, but it's probably because... It's kind of a loose connection, it might be the driver, who knows. But um, let's push these wings in, let's check out, let's check it out in the regular stamina mode. Oh wow, it actually looks so much better in the regular mode. Um, I'm kind of worried, because the chassis is bigger than the layer, but you know what? That's fine. We're still gonna do some fun Beyblade battles today. Right here. 
on this channel. Alright, we're gonna battle it against Hyperion now. Because why not? Oh that was that was a horrible launch. Hold on. Hyperion is probably one of the better um new sparking series bays. Like it has good attack stuff. Or you know what? Type matchups. They might actually be relevant in this battle. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? Because I don't know. But let's try that again. Oh wait, something. A piece of the a piece of the clip came off of Ragnarok. Wait, what? Okay, I've had Lego Beyblade break, but not like that. Wait, where did it break? Okay, it broke, like, right here. Like, this was supposed to be on here. Oh, my. All right. So, this is making me a little bit worried from when I release, um, a longinus, which I should do, or else I'm gonna be killed. So, yeah. Let's battle Helios, a much more tame bay, and my personal favorite design. Why can't I launch this thing good? Come on. Go. Go. Let's do it. See, Helios does this, like, weird, shaky movement, but I think it's gonna spin steel. Yeah, and win life after death. Ooh. Alright, this zone actually has decent life after death. I did not know that. I thought it would suck because bad stamina. Alright, let's do it one more time against Helios, and then we'll do Lucifer. I too like to name Beyblades after Satan. Like we've gotten Hades, we've got little Satan, Lucifer, and Belial. Like, dude. Okay, I, I this is so unfair. Everything has life after death. This does not. This just has this just has stamina. Which is fine. But that's not gonna make it win really. Let's battle it against this guy. Lucifer. Yeah. How exciting. What an exhilarating match. Of course it really isn't, because they're never going to hit each other. Alright, I think this driver sucks. Yeah, that's probably it. So, looks like Ragnarok can just never win. At least it's not bursting. It would kind of suck if it did. on here is this driver bad yeah, that's probably it see this is the reason why i put bearing onto a balance type it's just kind of fast but that's it for ragnarok overall um layer all right i guess the driver sucks this chassis might be good for sam now i'll do some testings later but um yeah that was it for the video watch videos watch more videos please Thank you for like 700 subscribers, by the way. I don't get it. I, again, I I was gone for like three months and my sub count skyrocket, whatever. Um, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I'll see you in the next video.